Hank Greenberg was born on January 1, 1911 in Manhattan, New York. He was born to a Romanian Jewish family who immigrated from Burkhest. His original name was Hyman, however, his birth certificate mistakenly read Henry. Growing up, Greenberg was a multi-sport athlete excelling in baseball, basketball, soccer, and track and field. Greenberg's preferred sport was baseball and he was recruited by Yankees legend Lou Gehrig to come play for the Yankees. Greenberg decided to turn down the offer and attend New York University with a scholarship for baseball. Following graduation, he would go on to sign with the Detroit Tigers for $9,000. Hank Greenberg was an all-time great Major League Baseball player. He played 13 years as a left fielder and first baseman for the Tigers. He was very open about his Jewish faith. Greenberg was so profound in his faith that he refused to play a game on Yom Kippur during a 1934 match against the New York Yankees. Hank Greenberg served as an icon to the Jewish American community as he was courageous enough to openly express his faith during a time plagued by anti-Semitism ideology. Hank Greenberg was openly disliked by both fans and other players around the league. A testament to that statement was in the 1938 season when Hank found himself two home runs shy of Babe Ruth's single season record of 60. Opposing pitchers purposely walked Hank to deny him the opportunity to accomplish such a feat. Meanwhile, Greenberg was receiving letters which threatened to take his life if he dared to try and surpass Ruth's record. So how did a man who was discriminated against and disliked by so many become an American hero? In 1933, the Nazi party began a subtle but sure persecution of German Jews. Many Jewish people were being murdered in ghettos and eventually the formation of concentration camps led to the loss of millions of Jewish lives. In 1939, Adolf Hitler called for the invasion of Poland, sparking a world war that would prolong all the way until 1945. The Nazi party was spreading propaganda, causing many people to hold biases against Jewish people. Many Jews who sought out to neighboring European countries were often captured and killed. One of the few places where Jewish people could seek asylum was the United States, who failed to allow as many Jews as they could have, which reflected the continued institutionalized feelings towards Jews. While the United States was not murdering Jewish people like the Nazis, they did not exactly treat them great either. There was lots of racial discrimination towards Jewish American people and even, in some scenarios, hate crimes being acted out against them. With that being said, the United States was a much safer place for Jewish people to be compared to most places in Europe. In the spring of 1941, Hank Greenberg became the first Major League Baseball player to enlist in the military draft. He was deemed to have flat feet and was recommended for light service. On May 7th of that spring, Greenberg would begin his service at Fort Custer in Michigan, where he would serve in the 5th Division 2nd Infantry Anti-Tank Company. His service would be short-lived, however, as Congress had passed a law which prevented men over the age of 28 from being drafted into the military. This new law resulted in Greenberg being discharged on the 5th of December 1941, just two days prior to the attacks on Pearl Harbor. On the morning of December 7, 1941, Imperial Japan carried out a surprise bombing on the U.S. naval base in Honolulu, Hawaii. The attacks killed 2,403 American sailors, soldiers, and civilians, putting it among the most deadly days in American history. The United States was considered a neutral country at the time of the attacks, so the attacks were deemed as unwarranted and heinous. The American people were angry. Prior to the attacks, there was a lot of political debate on whether the United States should get involved in the war in Europe or not. After the attacks, the country was overwhelmingly in favor of waging war with the Axis powers, especially Japan. On December 8, 1941, the United States declared war on Japan as a response to the attacks. Just a few days later, Germany and Italy, who were Japan's allies at the time, would go on to declare war on the United States. In FDR's words, the American people in their righteous might will win through absolute victory. During this time, there was a major sense of nationalism through the country, and Hank Greenberg was someone who embodied this through his pride and contributions to his country. Despite the fact that he faced constant discrimination from others and was looked at as an outsider in America, Hank still wanted to fight for a country that never had his back, a true American. I'm going back in, Greenberg told the Associated Press. We are in trouble, and there's only one thing to do, return to service. I have not been called back. I am going back on my own accord. Greenberg would go on to re-enlist in the military on February 1st, 1942, putting his baseball career on the back burner for quite some time. Greenberg was inducted at Fort Dix in New Jersey, but would be stationed all around the country. 
even spending some time overseas in China. He served for three more years before ultimately being discharged in June of 1945. Hank would then go on to resume his baseball career and pick up right where he left off, homering in his first game back and posting a 311 batting average in his shortened 1945 season. Greenberg faced a great deal of discrimination in the form of anti-Jewish slurs. Both fans and opposing players used these slurs that were extremely disparaging and offensive to a Jew. One opposing player even yelled, throw him a pork chop, he can't hit it, during a game. Saying this to a Jewish person is extremely insulting because they have a deep revulsion to eating pork, which is a food banned to them by religious instruction. The insults were a persistent part of his career. Besides Jackie Robinson, there was no one in the history of the game who took more abuse than Hank Greenberg, his teammate Bertie Tebbets recalled. In the words of Mark Kurlansky in his biography titled, The Hero Who Didn't Want to Be One, he speaks highly of Greenberg saying, Greenberg was indisputably one of the greats of baseball history winning games with dazzling bravado in late innings. Yet what made him a legend is not how far and how often he hit the ball, it is that Hank Greenberg showed a humanity and strength of character far beyond that of most sports heroes. Hank Greenberg's influence and impact went far beyond the diamond.